Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Webs from SlideNerd here. Today, I'm going to talk about how we can use interfaces in our code in Java. In the previous video, I talked about the theory of interfaces and I showed you when they are appropriate for using in your code. Today, let's work out the examples and figure out exactly how we can use them. Now, the first step is to create the interface just like you create a class. Now, interfaces can be made within some other file or they can be made in a separate file of their own. Now, in this case, what I have is testinterfaces.java, which is a file having a class over here. Now, inside this, I'm going to have my main method, which is, of course, public static void main right there. Now, I can make the interface right here below this by saying interface my interface over here. And that's all you got to do. You just got to use the keyword interface, specify the name of your interface that you want. The naming syntax is very much like what you have with classes. All the words have their first alphabet capital in while naming an interface as per the standard conventions and you're good to go. Now you can also make this inside a separate file called myinterface.java and we will get to that. But before we do that let's work out some example of understanding what we do with this interface now we are going to define a method called display inside this we're going to say public now the first thing that you will notice that is weird is you cannot have method bodies inside an interface if you put a body here it gives an error and it says interface abstract methods cannot have body so you gotta make sure that you remove the body completely and you put a semicolon the whole idea of an interface is to let the other person do all the work of working that interface out or defining the contents of that interface it's a contract right so in this case if i want the class test interfaces to use this interface what i'll simply say here is go up here and i'm going to say implements my interface this is all you got to do just like you say extends my class the same way you write implements my interface now as soon as you do that there's this red line over here as you guys notice it says Test interfaces is not abstract and does not override the abstract method display. In other words, the class test, you have two choices. The class test interfaces can either be made abstract over here. If you can go here and simply say abstract, that error is gone. Otherwise, remove the abstract and define that method over here. So for defining, you can again do it very easily by pressing Alt Enter here inside your NetBeans and say implement all the abstract methods. At this point, you guys notice there's the public void display method that came from the interface. Now inside the display, you can just say system.out.println and you can say hi from interface, something like that. And going back to your main method, you can simply make an object of your class, which is test interfaces. Call that method the way you would do by saying test interfaces.display. At this point, you run the code and it's going to say hi from the interface at the bottom. So this is the simplest way. That you can understand how interfaces work notice what are the things that we did we implemented the interface we defined all the code for that method because our interface basically has an empty method and it says you are the one who's gonna write code for that method dude i'm not doing anything over there so you write the code for this method and then you do whatever you want now can you have more methods yes if you go here add another method say public and now if you see there's once again an error at the top it says the same thing it says Test interfaces is not abstract and does not override. So the rule is something like this. For every method inside an interface, you have to redefine it here inside the class which is implementing that interface. If you don't do that, you have to make your class abstract. So the error goes away when you're making it abstract. But notice the problem. When you make this abstract, you cannot create an object of your class anymore because you remember from the abstract class videos in our pre-playlist, we have already discussed that abstract classes cannot have objects. So the only other way is that you do this and you define the method that it is specifying right now. So again, you hit Alt Enter here, just implement all the methods and this time there is your test method. Now next, let's talk about creating an object of your interface itself. You can say my interface, mi is new my interface and you put a constructor here there is an error it says my interface is abstract cannot be instantiated in other words you cannot create objects of an interface directly if you want objects make some class implement that interface and then create an object of that class 
which is somewhat like creating an object of that interface itself. Now let's talk about variables inside interface. For example, let's say there is this variable called pi, which is float pi equals 3.14. <clears throat> of course, I have to put an f over here to make sure that the floating point is converted appropriately. Now inside our test interfaces, let's also have a method display over here just for test purposes. We're going to make the same method display. Now since the method pi, since the variable pi has been defined inside our interface, we can access it inside our display method, right? Let's try that. So we just put our pi over here. And as you can see, if you print that out, it's going to give the value. Of course, I haven't created an object inside main method to call display, but it will give the value. But let's try changing the value of pi. If I say pi equals to 2.0 here, f over here, does that work? Take a look at that. It says cannot assign a value to a final variable pi. So that means by default, any variable that is created inside an interface is public. It's final and you cannot modify it. That means you can only create constants inside an interface now that gives you pretty much idea of why interfaces are so flexible because you can make as many constants as you want and their values cannot be altered now what if we have two interfaces let's make another one over here so at this point i have another interface called my interface 2 over here if i want to implement that as well i'll simply go up put a comma and i'll say my interface 2 here once again the condition remains the same implement all the methods of my interface to or make your class abstract so i'm going to go here and implement the methods and as you can see there's this new method test which has popped up because of that now let me show you the effect of having the interfaces inside a separate file and then we can proceed to wrap this up to make an interface in a separate file it's very simple in netbeans just right click on the package say new and there is an option which says Java interface. So go here and you can say my interface for now. Just click finish over here and your interface will be done. Now notice something. This is public over here. If we remove the public, what does it say? Actually, it says nothing. But inside our test interfaces, we may be able to implement that interface because it is in the same package. But if this was in a separate folder, then my interface will not be visible. Let me show you that. So at this point, I have modified the code slightly. There is my package 2, which contains my interface. And then there is my other package, which is Vivs and SlideNode, inside which I have my test interfaces class that wants to implement my interface. But the problem at this point, it says, my interface is not public in package 2, and hence cannot be accessed from an outside package. Which means, if you want your interfaces to be used by classes outside your package, you have to make that public. So go here. And simply say public here and go back and that error disappears so this is how you can use interfaces in Java at a basic level now there is still one thing that we need to discuss and that is about polymorphism using interfaces in Java which I'll be doing in my next video in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts as usual in the comment boxes below and as always thanks for watching